Yeah. I hoardy hoardy, we gone to porty. Get in your car and pick up your shorties. Tell them to kick up some forties, cause we gonna porty. Don't hate, don't wait. It dinner date. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. Nice. Did you just come up with that? Just now. That was Dieter's awesome. black brother. That wasn't them. Dieter doesn't oh, like shut the it. Hell it up. Hey guys. Urban for me. Hey guys, welcome to Dinner Date with David, Crystal, and Christian. Have a seat. Sit down. We just got our appetizers. Have a drink. Whoa. Yeah. <laughs> he was a little too interested in that drink. <laughs> that reminded right. me of um, Bunny and Tigra. Tigra? Oh, my name is Tigra and Bonnie, and we like the <laughs> boom. boom. Yeah. We like oh, the core. TKO, the core go boom. Oh, I know these people. It's TKO, the guys who do TKO. La Tigra. No, yeah. La Tigra. No, no, that's La Tigra. It's a different band. It's Tigra and Bunny, and we like the boom. That's La Don't come to my house. No, no, I'm no. I'm under the don't impression he's to trying to be funny. No, he's no, trying to be a black. No, no, I'm, I'm talking about singing. you Which trying means... to be funny. No, no, oh. it is La Tigra. No, it's not. Tigra is a band that does that hot topic is a what do we, we dream of that's a band and tigra and bunny they rappers they don't they ain't into that oh, white i must shit. have downloaded that song under la tigra no 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 uh-uh because i have that song no. on my ipod what, tigra, tigra, and, tigra and, bunny? and bunny and, and we, we like some boom. idiot on the internet just got them confused yeah david just got mad at or some, some idiot, idiot irl because <laughs> <laughs> well, i've downloaded blondie stuff and it ends up being like we're the kids in america whoa and that's kim wilde i love shit. blondie yo blondie's the that's greatest awesome. thing in the world i love that song too from bye bye blondie Bye bye Blondie. What's that? Bye Blondie. That song. We're the kids in a man. That's not by Blondie. That's by Kim Royal. I guess I'm an idiot IRL. You're an idiot. Wow, that's horrible. Oh. No, but you get that. So any drama? You guys it's have better any drama you found out now week? publicly than you know in the privacy of your own home. Yeah, exactly. You crazy yeah. white people have any drama this week? Oh, you are such a horrible black person. <laughs> and I don't mean that to all the good. You know, I'm a. That's racist. Dave is what we call one of the bad ones. Like he <laughs> is not <laughs> remotely. Shut up! That racist. I don't like it. No. I yeah. Go ahead, I, I remember a term, but I don't think I, it's it's good to say or appropriate to say. What? Go ahead. Starts with the W. No. Nobody no, else. Don't, what is it? I don't know. You'll what, to, what's she talking about? It's from the eighties. I'm gonna let it slide. Go. Spell, no. Say it. Spell it out. No. I think slide was like an allusion to electric slide. So I think we're staying on the black thing. I don't here. even Go know on. what you just said. It's I have fun. no idea. Let's say Carry something. Carry on. What's the first report? The first. Yeah, let's just go to the first report. Semi celebrity slap fight. You bitch. Ah. Fight. Hey guys, it's Christian. I got some news for you. Actually, it's kind of like gossip, kind of. What is it? Would it be like? Well, well, you guys all know about the the new the recently Grammy award winning slash human disaster zone nuclear car wreck, um, Amy Winehouse. You guys, yeah, yeah, know yeah. It's just like you know, she's been doing heroin. You know what? Up. I have something to say on that, but go ahead and say what you're gonna say. Go. Well, I was just I was just actually gonna elaborate on how effed up she is i mean she's uh-huh. like she's been shooting up like heroin allegedly like into her toes and stuff like that uh-huh. and she just won a grammy and she's all cracked out and messed up uh-huh mm-hmm. but um there's something you probably don't know about her what that she's come down with a case of impetigo i heard of that so i'm not even sure that. what is impetigo <sighs> <laughs> you know it's funny because i said do people really get impetigo anymore and then peter said that's what Christian had. And <laughs> yeah. I went, oh, really? Really? I guess they do you still get it. Really forget about Wait, all my pain impetigo? and suffering? I forgot about it. I totally it, yeah. don't even know. Well, first it's impetigo, not infantigo. Just to bring us back. <laughs> what's what's back infantigo? <laughs> infantigo? That's horrible. It's from babies. Yeah. Um, infantigo is it's a, a skin disease. It creates like a nasty scaly skin on you. And it, it's common. And I think we discovered it was common between two to four year olds and rugby players. Yes, so wait, you I have that. it? You have I had it. Christian we was did it. Uh, going And now Amy Winehouse has it? Yeah, I was going to say, you know, back... Around when the Grammys were happening on a Wednesday, yeah. a few weeks back, and, and, we, I said, and you called in and sick because you, you couldn't do the podcast. Was that when yeah, the dust get, was in your eye? Yeah, <laughs> the dust was in my. You could hear me coughing, and then in uh-huh. the background you could hear British Airways, me, you know, playing. So, so anyways, spell it out for us. We still haven't pieced it together. I allegedly gave Amy Winehouse in Patagonia. But wait, you're wait, saying wait. it. So is that really alleged? You're saying it. Well, is I this would... a revelation or is this an allegation? My, my publicist <laughs> said I'm not of, of uh, able to comment on it because, you know, my pictures haven't shown up on TMZ. They really don't. I t- try and lay low, but her, she's plastered all over the place. And it would be bad for my reputation now, to be hanging out with Amy hang Winehouse. Hang on. Hang on. You do realize that she has a drug-addicted boyfriend that has no job and nothing better to do than come over here and kick your ass? Well. <laughs> he don't care. That's true. But he won't pay. He make ready. It. He 
know, crazy. <laughs> <I'm> crazy. <laughs> I'll just hit him with my computer. He'll just die. Just <laughs> so what are the stuff. ramifications of you giving Amy Winehouse Infantigo? Well, I considering I'm probably not going to have a child anytime soon, this is irrevocable proof that I've had sex with a woman, allegedly. Oh, you gave it to her down there? Oh, no, no, David, that's ridiculous. <laughs> well, they don't show those kind of pictures on TMZ. Then how right. is that proof that you had sex with her? I had sex it's, with her face, it's allegedly. It's proof that you licked her oh, face. Oh, on her face? Well. So it was on your penis and it was, on, and now it's on her face? Is that what you're saying? That would be in, in, in irrefutable proof. That's true. Well, I guess... Or I, just that he... Um, hit her in the face with his penis. Right. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> so I was you know, if it's inside her mouth and it's on your penis, then it's irrefutable. That's actually a very good point. Can you get it inside your mouth, though? Well, we can try. David? <laughs> <laughs> David's all excited about this. He I loves like, experiments. Uh, let me know how that goes. <laughs> just right, do you have anything more to say? No, that was pretty much else? it. I just wanted to let you know that I, you know. Oh wait, this is one thing I want to say about Amy Winehouse. Okay, I, in the '60s, you're fucked up. You're doing drugs. You're shooting heroin. You know, you're Jimi Hendrix. You're the god of rock. Now. Oh, I, after the new millennium, you're shooting heroin in between your toenails, and all of a sudden you're a mess. Like, what's the deal here? Yeah, also a Grammy award winner. So, so Jimi Hendrix was whatever award winner. He was like, yeah, I thought of as the greatest thing ever. But that's my point. Like, it's there are still parts. Oh, of that and that she's also still, still winning Grammys, but mm-hmm. she's being reported as being a big mess, and people are mad at her and stuff. Like, like the news wasn't reporting Jimi Hendrix as a complete mess. Oh, that's true. Huh? Come on. All right, I don't like, know what I'm talking. What I, whatever I said does not hold water. Yeah. I, I don't see. I wasn't even alive in the '60s, so I don't. I don't get why. What, how I can battle your point? You, you, you battle were this, bitch. Yeah. Oh, yeah. battle this! I, Is it battle date? No, it's I, hell date. Hell date. We should come out with battle date. Hell date. But you we'll make it. B E T B E T is the bomb diggity. Okay. <laughs> we should come out with a TV show called Battle Date or something. Battle like that. Date. Yeah, Battle Date would be great. Who Hell would watch that? Greatest. You Battle just Star watch Hell Date. Hell Date on BET. Do it. What's it about? Let's go on to the. You want to go on the next segment, or do you have more to say? No, I just want to know what the I heck suggest. Hell Date's about. All right, okay, good. we'll we'll talk about it later. Wow. Right okay, after the podcast. And here's Gork Morgan with the <laughs> sports report. <laughs> I said, here's Gork Morvin with the sports report. I said, <laughs> he, oh, ju- he just hey finished guys. Doing- hey, Mark. Hey, Gork Morvin, what's up? Oh, how's it going? Pretty good. Did you good. just finish doing a keg stand? That was awesome. Yes. I don't even know what that means. What's a cake stand? A cake stand. Oh, you know, when you stand David. on your head and you eat cake, cake, as much cake as you can eat. They call until it. So you throw up. I've never heard of that. What do they do that? <laughs> they call it gâteau in France. They, they, yes, le gâteau. De, oh, le gâteau de cachefatis. Cachefatis. Can you just make it up? What? Go Where? Gark Marvin. Here's Gark Marvin Marvin with, with the, the sports, sports report. report. <laughs> <laughs> Christian does um, that way better than I do. Yeah. Um, I, I actually... Um, oh. I Welcome to Dead Air. <laughs> do, do, I'm going to put you in the stomach. I, I actually... Yes. I, I think I, I figured out something new and fun for everyone to try. All right, ready? Uh-huh. Go. Unemployment. Ooh. Well, I want to do that so bad. Mm-hmm. It's, gonna... it's actually very, very, very easy. It's I did that fun. for... How much do you get a week? I get right now. I'm getting like three twenty a week or something. <gasps> That's like that. enough to just lie around. How in your long? Couch. Do you, how, is there? There's a time limit, right? After it, you it's, it's aren't like, working. Mm-hmm. I have basically six and a half months of income. <gasps> I mean that the other me. way around. Wow. If, That's if, the greatest <laughs> thing ever. If the last time I worked was let's say five years ago, I'm unable to collect unemployment from that job. Am I not? You, that's true. You're not. Okay. What's the statute of limitations on collecting unemployment? Basically, how it works is this. Uh-huh. This is the demographic. It, this it, is our audience. By if the way. you file unemployment for unemployment in January or February, it takes it from the pr- the previous year. Okay. Okay. And it takes the highest quarter of that year of your income. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Oh wow! And then it. Oh wow! Like like it like basically in one of my quarters last year. I made like eight thousand six hundred dollars or something like that, right? Nice. That happened to be my highest quarter, so they picked that one. Uh-huh. Nice. And then they split it up over six six months. and a half months. It turns out to be. Oh, that's awesome! I wanted to so, do that. So basically, they it's part of like a fund. Like every week, your taxes come out of your paycheck, and it sort of goes into that. Mm-hmm. Nice. So you've and already then, put the money in there. Now you're just withdrawing it. See, but half of it. Oh. My employer. Ends up having to pay for the other half. Oh, are they damn. mad at you? Are the previous employees <laughs> mad at you? I don't care. Wait, I'm self-employed. How can I? Do, how can I get in on the scam? Well, well, do you pay taxes? 
Yeah, loads of them. Just oh, hundreds of thousands of dollars. Hold on a second. The the previous employer actually they're not currently paying it. When they wrote no. you their check, your when they wrote you your paycheck, they had to put money oh, into the same oh, fund. That went. So <laughs> they have to pay um, employer payroll taxes, and then you as an employee have to pay payroll taxes as well. Both those oh. payroll taxes go into a fund. So they're not actually getting hit in their pocket right now. Right. Uh, oh, they, they don't care then. They don't care. Right. I want to do this so bad. Wait, how long do you have to work? Oh, so it's however long you work, that's how long you get the employment. Well, it depends. Like, it basically, yeah. they, they, they look at the past four quarters and they pick the highest one. He's, he's asking if he worked for a week. Would he be able to get unemployment on that job? How long do you have to have held the job before you can collect unemployment from that employer? Oh, dude, I don't know. I'm not the government. Mm. <laughs> now, Shit, yo. How <laughs> long? <laughs> how long ago do you have to have stopped? Like, what's the time limit on um, working before you collect unemployment? Like, if you quit your job ten months ago, could you collect an unemployment? Does it have to be within the fiscal year? What's I think the, uh, it has to be within like the quarter. Uh, within like the next quarter or something like that. When you got laid oh, off, or okay. when you got laid off, like, can you do like, it from quitting? I don't think so. Okay. Uh, fired uh, and laid uh, off. Uh, you're okay. Oh, fired. Oh, rad. Gross negligence. Here I come. Oh shit, yo, <laughs> shit, yo, Crystal. You and I should get a job somewhere, just like Lucy and Ethel did, and we'll get fired for sure. Just, just because we don't know what the hell we're doing, and then we'll collect unemployment insurance. Especially if we act like Lucy and Ethel. <laughs> yeah, let's do it. If you're gonna get fired to collect unemployment, mm -hmm. have someone at your previous job that you can use as a reference. Oh, so they will friends. ask for a reference to call to verify your employment and that you got let go or the terms were okay like if you embezzled and got fired yeah. they're not giving you unemployment oh totally oh, so you know what i'm saying okay. so don't pick the so, person you sexually harassed to as your as your right or maybe like, like me like me i i kind of <laughs> lucked out because i'm sort of i was friends with the people who i worked with nice so like i'm not gonna oh, give they're them, still working there I'm, one of them i'm oh. not gonna give them the owner's name yeah. To call because he's not gonna whatever like he's yeah. gonna I'm not gonna pay unemployment and I'm a, I'm a douchebag you know yeah. whatever so I gave them my friend's number I'm gonna get one of the portable AC oh. actually I'll take oh wait no it's recording again that's awesome all right awesome thanks for that sports for oh, yeah guys say? it's not over no 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 <laughs> it's fine I was basically okay. my whole point was that um unemployment is the way to go it sounds awesome you can watch and I, I've spent plenty of I've money to I've live spent on. like three weeks now just sort of like hanging out with Rachel oh. we go on walks every morning oh, and just kind of hang I out. I like, more than anything. I want to go on like walks with my Rachel. Car a little bit. What? I'm just kidding. Sorry. I want to go eat bre <laughs> I want to go for a walk here. and eat breakfast. You guys do. And you're in the perfect place to go eat breakfast. I have nothing to do. Call me. All right, let's do it. I'll we'll do it. We'll have breakfast. I love long walks. I love it. And I'll you guys are near the farmer's market? Let's do it. Yeah, totally. <gasps> All right. I, the sports I like the sports report bringing guys together. Yeah. It is. It's awesome. It's that's all about awesome. not working. Well, that's why hey, I figured. Dave, David's giving the cut shut up symbol with his hand. <laughs> yeah. the next thing. Just a final comment. I just Please. want to say I, the reason why this is brought up during the sports segment was because this will allow our listeners to spend more time watching sports. Get yeah. fired, stay home. Get fired, stay home. That's Thank my you. plan. Yeah. Thank, Thank you, you so for much, for bringing Mark. relevance to <laughs> sports. Relevant. Mark, you, you surpassed me in many ways in bringing relevance to your sports report. He I, thought it should be unspoken, but you had to say it. I'm humbled. I'm humbled by your intelligence. I'm sorry. If you don't know whom to date, don't stay home and masturbate. That's not your last resort. It's, it's the, the Relationship, relationship Report. report. Hello, this is David with the Relationship Report. Okay, this is what I'm going to do. I need... Thank you. Give me that. What the hell is wrong with you? I have it all David. set and ready to go, and Christian ruins the entire report. David, don't worry. Okay, for, for I have... Thing. Wait, where is my... I need one more piece of paper. I didn't oh. do it. I'm, I'm coloring... I'm drawing a tree on my I very own... I just kill own. you guys. Okay, there's four people in the studio. <laughs> David's there's calling. There's Christian... Take the piece of paper and hold it. Don't do anything with it. I want to write there's on Crystal. It. Take the piece of paper and don't do anything with it. And there's Mark. Take the piece of paper and do. I have two pieces of paper. Oh, can I have? All right, one that just I can give draw me on? one. You yeah, have an do extra. Do whatever you want. Draw on it and shut up. I'm yep. trying to do my report. Wow. Jesus Christ. Somebody this is a very in-depth psychological report, and I need you guys just shut the hell up. No, don't mm -hmm. rip it or anything. Panties in a twist. Okay, each one of you get a crayon that will write on your paper. Reading you're gonna. When I ask you this question, you're gonna write your answer um, on the paper, and don't let anyone else see it. And then fold it once. The dinner date has replaced. I'm gonna been choose replaced. red, violet. Okay. No, no, orchid. I don't care. My just choose on. one. I to turn my mic back okay, on. here's the question. I want you guys to listen and shut the hell up. Go. Okay, which will make you more uncomfortable 
If I were to say to you, this is the first option. If I were to say to you, there's someone in this room that I hate with all my heart. And when the podcast is over, I'm going to confront the person and tell them that I hate them. Ooh. And it's on. Oh, that sounds exciting. Or the second option is there's someone in this room that I'm in love with. Ooh. And I'm going to have to tell the person that I'm in love with them. And if there's any chance that we could possibly be together... I have to take that chance. So which of those two would make you more uncomfortable? Mm. Mm. Think about that and write it down. They're looking (laughs) off into space. As the only other single person in the room other than David. No, but that doesn't mean I'm single. No, no, no. It doesn't. Single has nothing to do with it. It's just like all obstacles will be jumped over. It could be anyone in the room. So I have to spell my reaction? How do you spell fucking petrified? Wait, wait, wait. No, no, not your reaction. You have to spell... Which am I gonna have to prefer? which which you just want love which or hate would, would make you uncom- more, more uncomfortable. uncomfortable? Okay, all right. Which and don't let anyone else see it and write it down. <laughs> but cheat. do it quickly. I, I want to know what you're saying. Do it quickly <laughs> and then hand it to cheat. me when you're done. Fold it in half and hand it to me when you're done. <laughs> oh, it in half? Just in half. And if I fold it like this, doesn't matter. Just give exactly. it to me. God You'll damn exactly it! Wait, wait. That's fine. not part of the test, but it should be. The first one. The- <laughs> just give it to me. When the first one is that is that you hate them and it's I on them. after the podcast. Well, I like, just, I'm going to confront the person and I'm going to tell them that I hate them and and that I don't want anything to do with them and I hate you and this is why you're horrible and all that stuff. Or I sit them down and say I love you and whatever it takes, I want to make it work with you. And I just had to take and even if you can't be with me, I just had to take this opportunity. So are you done? Oh, give it to me. I'm getting them all together. But no, no, give them to me so as you, you get them. Please sort them in your hand. Just give it to me as you get them, Mark. No, no. You're no, ruining the entire. Wait, Crystal. wait, you're not part of this bit. It's my bit. Now give it to me. Give it to me. <laughs> this is his. his For input. God's sake. Okay, they're now shuffled. Okay, I and saw you guys used. write with the thing. I know whose is whose. <laughs> no, but the, the part of it is okay, here we go. For God's <laughs> sake. Oh, they didn't even write, <laughs> they didn't even write down. They wrote the number of the option. <laughs> oh my now God. David's confused. He doesn't remember which number was which. <laughs> Shoot, I don't know which is which. What are you drawing there, Christian? <laughs> this is tree. I made a tree much like your tree. We're drawing in studio. Who, what is with it looks you like, a, like an arrow. Don't your judge my art, was, damn it. This is what I'm Mark wrote. I'm just asking why your tree looks this like an arrow. This is what Mark wrote. <laughs> oh. Mark wrote the love one. That would make him more uncomfortable. So, per the psychological parameters of the AMA and the APA and the BAA, do you want to know why? You, oh, he doesn't even want no, to know why. No, I don't want to know why. No, he wants Wait, to. I'm he wants to psychoanalyze and then you. Tell me why. Okay. Okay. This means that you're afraid of love. Mm. This means that you're a horrible person who can't accept love into their heart, and you're not very good at giving love either. Now, why would that make you uncomfortable? Explain to everybody. Well, that would make me uncomfortable because it's a lie. Oh. So, what would make you? Why would it make you uncomfortable then? Well, I because think- if you had to tell, let's just say, like, hypothetically, let's say, hypothetically, uh, <laughs> my coffee's not spiked. Just let me finish. <laughs> if you went ahead and said, oh, "Mark, I'm in love with you." You know, I have to be with you, blah, blah, blah. My thoughts Honestly, exactly. We should just go now. Uh, oh. What? I'm Not I have to be with you. Go ahead. I, just, I know that you can't be with me. I had to take this opportunity just to tell no. you because it weighs so heavy on my heart. Well, like, it, uh, <laughs> but you just said that you're going to do whatever it takes to make it work. <laughs> no, stupid. You're, you're contradicting <laughs> so you thought I, yourself. All right, all right that's not No, no, no. Let me, tell, let me explain right, why. Ahead, like, here, yeah. Here's you going because I need to do whatever it takes <gasps> to make it work and blah, 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 uh-huh. right? Uh-huh. Okay, you're a pretty cool dude, you know? Uh-huh. I like you a lot. You're a really good friend. Uh-huh, uh-huh. I don't think I'd be able to do it, and I'd be uncomfortable saying that because of, I love Rachel very much, and, you know, this is So that. if I said, Mark, I so hate I, you and don't ever want to talk to you again, that would make you more comfortable? No. I don't know. That would kind of make me sad, too. <laughs> See? Oh, my God. You just screwed up the whole thing. All right, this is what Christian <laughs> wrote. I answered Christian wrote, question. no, thank you, and I want to thank you for playing this game today. All right, Christian wrote, <laughs> number you. one. This is what Christian wrote. <laughs> Christian wrote, number one, love. Number two, love. Number three, love. Number four, love. Number five, hate. <laughs> now, could you... This, 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 the result of this, this means that... <laughs> There's something wrong in your head, motherfucker. Oh, yeah, white you... people is crazy. That's what this means. Listen, you are schizophrenic. You you're it? Oprah and you're a white bald dude. So I don't know what... <laughs> you also have something going on, too. This means that you can't follow the directions. This means that you're trying to be you... the center of attention. And this means that you can't accept love into your heart because you're so afraid that someone might love you. Three of three, baby. You got him. I all. did, didn't I? Now, why... I get lost all the time. I thought it was seven of seven, huh? 
Oh, that's true. No, five of five. Well, if you count the three, well, you did. What are the five? five Why did you write number one love, number two love, number three? What are the numbers? Well, I couldn't figure out how to write in bold and italics with a crayon, <laughs> uh-huh. which was the writing utensil of David's choosing. Uh-huh. You know, I, italics so, were... I think just uh, to replace bold, and bold, I think, was... Uh, it's true, but yeah. double emphasis. But, Notice but, the word of what does that times. mean, though? You still didn't write in italics and bold. Like, what does that mean? There's five... It's emphasis by repeating it. I mean, by emphasis. But love, 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 hate... What yeah, does well, the hate mean then? Well, hate lo- is the f- option number one. Uh, is the last so option he's saying out of the option possible two, options. Option two, option two, option one. So the, his first three biggest fears would be number two. And so then, love. So that means. Right. So, but I did get that correct. You oh, are afraid of someone to love you because you can't give love back. Solid. And your heart is dead inside. Number dead. two. Dead. Have you not that heard was, the previous? Wait, podcast? all <laughs> three of you are afraid to be loved. Can and I, Crystal no, also says number two. She's afraid that someone might love do someone else. You? Do I get to tell you why? No, first I'm going to tell you. I don't want to know the, the reasons. Worst motherfucking psychoanalyzing motherfucker. Yeah. No, I am not. I am a in the room. Like, <laughs> Shut up. Not, not in the world, hope, but in the I room. Hope, I hope that you do tell me you hate me. <laughs> <laughs> no, you don't. You would cry. I could make you cry by I'd telling you that. I'd probably be really sad if you. You'd be really sad. No, this is the thing. I said it wrong. I should have said that I would sit down and be like, Mark, I know that you love someone else and you can never love me, but I just had to tell you that I loved you. Because it weighs so heavy in my heart. That wouldn't you'd be rather, to me at all. You'd rather hear that than me saying, I hate you and I don't ever want to see you again. Oh, completely. I'd rather you love me. All right. Me so I said you. it wrong. So, Crystal, what would you rather have you. me say? Crystal, I know that you can never be with me, but I just want to tell you that I, I love you. You're a wonderful person. I have to tell you, now that I'm done coloring, drawing my bird. Yeah. Okay. Can I tell you? <laughs> Crystal, <laughs> Now, what I have to tell you <laughs> is, it's is thank you, is that... um. The reason behind me putting number number uh-huh. two is this. <laughs> yeah. Were you to tell someone, I hate you, I don't want to ever see you again, blah, blah, blah. I could see, I don't know about you guys, but for me, if somebody really hated me, I wouldn't really want to hang out with them anyway. I wouldn't be like, oh, oh, please you like me, please friend. like me. I'd be You're like, you know what? Friend. You don't like me? Fine, cool. You go your way. I'm going to go mine. Let's just not deal with each other. Uh-huh. Right? But if you were to tell somebody you love them and they didn't have those feelings back, you would be heartbroken. And so mm. I thought that oh, then that you would you would get your heart broken. So that, that what that means is that she's a woman that's full of love <laughs> and she just wants to give oh, love God. back and she's all encompassing. Using the same responses we She's chose. a lovely young lady. But she has very different reasons. <laughs> very different reasons. Can I, but, can I but wait, let me just change it though, Crystal. If I sat down and said to you, either A Crystal, I know that you are married and you can't ever be with me, but I just want to tell you that I love you because I think you're an amazing woman and it just had to tell you to be heavy on my heart. Would you have me tell you that or tell you, Crystal, I don't like you. Like, you're a horrible person and you make me feel uncomfortable. Which would you rather have me tell you? Again, probably I would rather you tell me that you don't like me because <laughs> the thing is, again, you tell me that you don't like me again. and I'd be sad. But you tell me that, that you, you love me, I would be sad twice because I would be sad that you're sad and then I would be sad that I was the one making you sad. All right, so there's so new results. What Crystal is trying to tell me is to get out of her house and she doesn't ever want to see me again. She's Thank actually you, shaking her. I can read between those lines. Wow. Well, he's crazy. So at the end of the podcast, I'm going to tell someone that they're clinically insane. Okay. <laughs> now, right on a piece I don't know of paper. who it's going to be. I want to know who it's going to be. I can't wait. We're going to gonna, we're gonna write down all the titles. Psychoanalyst becomes. All right, this was a bus. Psycho. We're moving on to the next segment. I'm bored with this. You guys can go to hell. My bird has feet, though, on the upside. <laughs> don't be a dummy. Eat food that's yummy. And healthy too. Do it. Oh, is that one? Yes, the food report. Okay, so first up on the food report, I will be sweet and brief. Uh, study on honey mm. versus co- cough syrup found that what? Could you shut up and let her do her I'm report? Sorry. A st- Christian. sorry, Christian looks baffled. <laughs> honey, sorry. honey. I'm sorry. Like I the just liquid like, no. gold that comes from bees. I know. I know. Know what you it, talk about. Is it Senorita. weird because I jumped right into it? Uh, well, uh, yeah. Is I was, that what you're? You're like, whoa. I was thinking honey. My, my first thought was this honey and sugar. This is the sex. Okay. Or honey. Yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to remember. It happened to me I once. lost them. I'm trying to remember. <laughs> it was... No, but... Yeah. Uh, wow, I'm sorry. Honey... I was thinking like honey and sugar or something... Or like honey and corn syrup. Oh, and then you said... but then cough syrup. Honey and... And I was thinking like... Through your Yeah, I was like... Yeah, honey and corn syrup. Cough syrup? So they did a study with children giving them cough syrup before bed and honey before bed to soothe their <clears throat> throats ah. when they were ill. Mm-hmm. And they produced the same effect. Wow. So... 
So you may as well just give your kids honey unless they're under the year, uh, under the age of one, mm-hmm. in which case they could um, get sick and die. So don't give them honey. Yeah, give them cops. Give them cops. So well, God was th- hopefully doing what if he they're was under doing. the age of one, you could give them milk. God decided or, to make his own cops. I guess saying. so. God made yeah, his own God gave us bees. Honey, honey. Oh, uh, I yeah. can't think, I, God made the bees. The you bees don't want to know. The honey. I gotcha. no, yeah, wait, I don't want to. I have a question about honey. Is the honey we get in the little bear? Is that how it comes out of the bees, or do they have to process it to get it that sweet? That is, um, well, I don't think they process it to get it sweet. They don't add anything to honey, but that is refined. I mean, they do. They do squeeze out the hive and pick out the bees, and um, they put the little cap no, they, on. They <laughs> they pasteurize it actually. They pass oh, okay, because I love It's honey. not I'm raw sorry. honey. But if you go to a farmer's market, usually you can find yourself some raw honey. But you're not supposed to give that to children at all, though, right? Raw honey. You're not supposed to give raw... Oh, you're not supposed to give any honey to children under the age of one. Okay, there's there's bacteria that, yeah. in it that their immune systems cannot fight. You will be killing your child. I did not know that until I was pregnant. Nobody told me. I read the side of a bottle of honey. I think this is something your doctor should advise you when you're pregnant. Yeah, they should they give you a list of things. But for some like drink tea all the time or anything like that. It's like, what's it going to go into? No, but I put honey on grapefruit. <gasps> Yeah, I know. It's crazy. Honey's the great... Honey's you such put an honey, innocuous thing. You would never know. I know. I would have no idea. I would just drink it right out of the bear if I was pregnant. Comes out of, comes out of bees. Ooh, I don't know. Well, when you're pregnant, I think it's fine. It doesn't transfer to the baby, okay. the bacteria. I can okay. I can eat honey and nurse and my baby's alive. It's just giving the honey straight to the child. So now it goes question. Taco Bell, right? <laughs> like it doesn't transfer all this, like the white <laughs> right. or anything like that. So wait, so is the bacteria then after the age of one? Is it that why it's a good cough syrup? Is because that bacteria helps with the cough and all that stuff? Or it's no, like it's not the bacteria. Effect? It's the soothing effect, okay. the creamy honey sliminess. I love honey. Now I'm gonna go get some honey. I want to put some That's honey. In. I like I like like refrigerated honey. Like you know when it gets kind of solid and everything. Oh, like that. Mix it with some hon- butter on toast. Yes. Oh, what you would God. like is the creamed honey. That's what it is. That okay, is awesome. I froze some honey and it didn't. Work the same as well. No, I think you froze it. It wouldn't spread. I think it at has. All. Um, it has. <laughs> <laughs> it has a little bit of the um, the wax in it. I think is what the cream ah, honey is. You should lick it. We freeze it next time. We lick it and see if it's good. We used to get corn. honeycombs when I was a kid, and we'd just take a piece of the honeycomb and chew on it and eat it. Now I've never done I that. like anything more than a teaspoon of honey, and I'm ready to oh, die. I'm like right, over sugared. And oh my god, you can oh, eat it with the fork. Worst. You can like, yeah. bring it out in the we wax take stuff with oh. chunks of honey. And you just chew on it and chew oh. on it until all you're left with is wax. No teeth, yeah. yeah. When I was a kid and, and adults <laughs> no would be teeth. like, that's too sugary, that's too rich, I'd be like, I'm never going to be that old. <laughs> and then now it's like, oh, I don't want to eat sugar. And it's like, it's true. I, really, I feel like an idiot not eating sugar. I feel like a fucked up I, piece of shit. I know that, that this is probably going to happen to me, hopefully when I'm like 80 or 90 or never. Uh-huh. But I, I, I still don't understand when people say, oh, I can't eat that, it's too rich. I don't. I actually no, that, don't understand. It. I hate the I'm person. Like, I don't ever. I don't want to be around people. I'm like, like, that. Sa- <laughs> like, give me a piece of salmon. Throw butter on it. Like, none of that mm. stuff bothers me. Even cake. Me. The richer the cake, yeah. the better. I love rich. I don't understand rich how oh, rich could rich ever be. Even the men. Probably. Yeah, those kind of people are fucked up. <laughs> yes. What? The richer the better. Oh, the men. Yeah, rich men. Yeah. Oh. So on the on the fat note. <laughs> fat? Um, Who are you calling fat, bitch? I'm not fat. Seriously. Have oh, you heard about the oils? No. What about oils? Okay. So you know, there's there's saturated and unsaturated. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but I always okay. forget which is which. One's yeah. wetter than the other. S- um, saturated is bad. Unsaturated is good. Unsaturated. Okay. Now the thing that they're just realizing, which I don't think is really news to some people, but news to a lot of people, is that mono unsaturated. Mm. Is actually good for you. Right. It's not Mono just that it's it. it's the okay oil. It's that it's actually good. What it oils actually, would fall under that though? Um, well, salmon has a lot of monounsaturated avocados, oh. nuts. Mm. Now, I love avocados. Avocados, yes, they're good, 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 good. And um, olive oil. Olive oil is really I big. If you look at the oil. side of olive oil, it's pretty much all monounsaturated oils. That's awesome. Really good. What for about you. coconut oil? Yeah. I eat a lot of coconut oil. Coconut oil has a lot of saturated fat. In oh it. hell! Now no. I'm trying to figure this out because my father-in-law takes coconut oil all the time. He takes a tablespoon a day because it's supposed to be so healthy for him. Totally. And then I look at it and it has as much saturated. It, no, no, sorry, it has more saturated fat than a tablespoon of butter. Ooh. So but I'm you trying know to figure out. I bodybuilders take it before competition because it helps to get rid of the fat, and I've been taking it, and I've noticed a difference. Like it is helping me lose weight for sure. One tablespoon oh. a day. Okay, really. But see, what I'm what I'm concerned about with with him or and with you now is that um, saturated fats. <laughs> 
the, the, the unhealthy fats, the saturated fats can leave deposits. It's not the fat you see that you need to be concerned with uh-huh. as much as the fat you don't, don't see. see. It can leave fat deposits around your organs uh-huh. and that can kill you. Uh-huh. And that's the... I've lived a happy life. <laughs> Actually, you, you guys- know, sometimes I'm driving down the road and I'm like, you know, I could be in a car crash any minute. I'm like, you know what? I have a pretty good life. I'm, I'm happy. The only thing okay. that stops you is because you have kids and you want to raise your kids, right? That's the only thing. That's she has no thing. goals in life. <laughs> nothing. Just Wait, would anybody be Actually, all upset? It's, it's the fact that I haven't done the laundry for the day. <laughs> would anybody in this room be that upset if I died tomorrow? Seriously? Yeah. Christian, you didn't say anything. No, I was nodding, though. Oh, okay. I was nodding. It's good, ra- good radio. Oh, is what, what he's- would anyone Sorry. in this room cry tears if yeah. I died? Oh, Mark yeah, would cry Mark tears. Would. Depends. I'd have Crystal, to see- you would or you wouldn't? Yeah, like, eh. I think I would. You would? Oh, yeah. what about you, Christian? I'd have to see the will. Then I'll give you an answer. <laughs> <laughs> what do you this want? Is, uh, okay. I can put whatever you want. What so do anyway, you want of mine? My- I want your guest house. I already told you that. David has an amazing guest house. Sorry to get off I think that'd be funny. I should, give it to, I should give it to you and two of the people you're fighting with and have you guys fight over it. Who am I fighting with? Or it's two people that you're not speaking with in your life. There's a lot of people. There are billions of people I'm not speaking with. Not. <laughs> sorry. Go ahead, Crystal. I'm sorry. Anyway, so that was that was it. Mono unsaturated fats are the way to go. They actually, um, damn it, I lost it. I had it and I lost it. Go yeah, ahead. Actually, I'm sorry. It was it, the good the the good things that they do for you. They do good things for you. I'll start Lots eating. Of good them. I do eat um, a lot of olive oil and I'll start eating avocados and stuff. Cool. That's what I wanted to ask. Now, I, most of the form of avocado that I eat comes in guacamole. Yeah, that's guacamole. Fine. That's the kind you get at like gas station vending machines. Ooh. That kind of oh, guacamole. there's no more avocados <laughs> left. <laughs> yeah, no, you have to make sure your your guacamole actually has avocados. There are guacamoles out there that have like avocado powder in them. Ooh. Seriously, you have <laughs> to check it out. Of avocado. For example, uh, Reese's Pieces, I believe, don't have any actual peanut butter in them. Yeah, that's what I heard. It's oh, like that's chemi- sad. Yeah, yeah that's it's really horrible. sad because I've been craving them for like a month. I love I peanut butter. So good. Mix them with some coffee. You know what? You got to do. Uh, this is what I realized. You got to make yourself happy in life. You got to make yourself happy. No more suffering. If you want Reese's Pieces, eat Reese's Pieces. You got to eat what you want. No, I would have. I would have eaten them by now if I could find a store that had them. Oh, really. yeah. No, no. <laughs> right, I, I'm not. I'm not holding. You're back. not one of those people. Okay, I good. I do think that if you want to eat something, eat it, but eat it in moderation. And if you're eating, if you want something, and there's two versions. If there's an unhealthy version and a healthy version, go for the healthy version. I mean, yeah. if if you can make yourself. Um, guacamole at home, for example, he maybe do that do rather than getting it from a vending machine because no, it's going to be, it. it's going to be better because it's going to be the way you want it. And it's, it's cheaper and Once he finally it's healthier. Gets a wife, he'll do that. Now he's not going to do it. You're not going to make guacamole at home. <laughs> oh no, I'm not going to get a wife. That's what I, was, I thought you were going to You're never going to get a wife? Hell no. Thoughts become things, Christian. You have to say, I have a wife Thoughts and she things? loves me. She, oh, I have a beautiful wow. You've never oh, grown boy. hair. I don't get There's it. that movie. I'm stupid, of you but I never, a wig, you, a blonde not wig. you, stupid ass. Shut oh. up. I'm done with him. There's the movie, <laughs> right? About the guy who, who falls in love with the, the doll. Uh, yeah, oh yeah, do that. Lars and the real girl. Lars and the real girl. Just do that. real. Um, yeah, I'm wrapping it up, but it, the monounsaturated, they do something really good. It's like lower cholesterol or Just eject give you good it cholesterol. Just later on or... in the podcast when you finally really remember I think, it. Anyway, yeah. I, I okay. had one question if we still have a second in that segment. Now, you were talking about like the, the healthy versions of something and the non-healthy versions, which brings up something that I'd like. Maybe you can, you can just research it for me. Now, there, there is, for instance, like Coca-Cola is very bad for you. It's like eating a pound and a half of sugar or something like that. It's like just horrible for you. But then there's diet, uh, there, there's diet Coke, which is, but it has like phenyl leukonurics in it and aspartame. Nutris- aspartame. aspartame. <laughs> that has been known to cause cancer in laboratory animals. Um, I'm sorry to interrupt, but oh, that's also all right. it was your report. both Cokes um, have a... a Caffeine, Is yes. it calcium carbonate? What is it? it? It eats your bones. Oh. There's something that will deteriorate your bones, yeah, Ooh. in it, in both of them. So carry on. Well, then... You were going to ask me which one's better? Well, yeah. Well, like use their substitute, right? No, I was going to ask her which one is better. Which one? Like it, honestly, if you're going to go for one, I would I would go for the Coke. The thing yes. I would I would say don't drink any of them. I wouldn't mm. advise you to drink um, soda a, at all. Kind of if you're going to go for soda, I would go for root beer because it doesn't have that. Um, really? The the bone eating thing. It's in not it. a cola or anything um, like that. Right, and um, oh. but yeah, they um, they're both really bad. But I always go for. For the, the, the real thing, if I might, <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> rather than, than the, the facsimile, because like low fat stuff, now they're, they're going, oh, low fat's actually not good for you. Low fat's yeah. actually worse for you. I'm like, really? Seriously? Because you, you take, you, you take the stuff that's naturally occurring and you replace it with chemicals saying, oh, it's going to oh, help yeah. you diet, right? Ooh. So, I mean, go with, 
the the if if it comes naturally with fat in it, just eat it in in small quantities. You know, if you want ice cream, eat the real ice cream. Just don't. <laughs> Don't go for the low fat sugar free crap. It's just, they're just replacing that fat and sugar with chemicals. And those are worse for you than the actual fat and sugar. And plus, if you're Word. thin, eat whatever you want to. If you're thin and good looking, because it's more important to be thin and good looking than it is to be healthy, it doesn't matter, really. Why'd you have to add good looking? What? Yeah, that's what Mark says, because Mark's very, Mark's yeah. a fucking Adonis. Adonis, is yeah, you got it. That's use? right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He is an Adonis. All right. All right, good. All right, yeah, so there Thank you go. Thank you. I will look for monounsaturated fats. Awesome. When you use a noun, you won't be let down. Something, 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 person, place, or thing. Okay, I have something very exciting. Very, Let's very do it. exciting. Don't be looking at it until I have, even on I the letterhead from... I do see a thong. Stop. Thong, the thong, thong, thong. Oh my God, you guys won't shut up. <laughs> Any, they're like third graders. Anything they see, they say. <laughs> Book. We're on the radio. Purple. We have to say everything see. No, this is actually nice. on the letterhead from the Academy. Is that a boat, of Christian? It's a third grader. The Television Arts and Sciences. I have the list of the ten greatest is he sitcoms. Boat and the North Star. Oh my God! I'm doing Christian's... my report. And I'm sorry, Christian made this beautiful That's piece beautiful. of art. That's beautiful. Now put it down, or I'm going to eat it. Put it on your fridge for me, David. Wait, put it on I your fridge. I want to see him eat it. No, I'm not <laughs> me. I have you guys from. From the Academy of mm-hmm. Television, Arts, and Sciences, I have the 10 greatest sitcoms of all time. No. I have the list that just came out. Do we get at least one ready? or two? I'm going to count them down from... Is it what? under your thong? <laughs> Don't touch it. I'll oh. touch your thong. Okay. Uh, I, can we at least have a chance to guess one of the things on the list? Like, can we send it around? Maybe we can each try and guess something that's on the list to give us some interaction. Well, we'll go. I'm going to count it down from 10 to 1. Can I yeah, just, go ahead. We'll guess one. You okay? You guess Christian. One of the one of the sitcoms you think is on the list. I love Lucy. Wrong, eh, Christian. Wow. You know Wrong. what? Wow. I totally what wasn't listening. What is it? A list of? <laughs> Wait, what? All right, I know. No. You guys are talking on talkers. <laughs> I'm serious. I got this list from the, the Academy of okay. Television Arts and Sciences. Okay. Released a list of the ten greatest sitcoms of all time, <laughs> and I have sitcoms. them right here. Can, can somebody remind me the next time I'm getting upset with my daughter and she's like looking through me and not at me and going, uh huh, exactly. uh huh, to remind me of this moment? This exact <laughs> same thing. Thank you. Go ahead and apologize, and we'll remind okay. you. You need to guess Northern. So, can exposure. you guess one of them? Guess Northern. Exposure. That's not a sitcom. It's an hour-long dramedy. A sitcom? The 10 greatest sitcoms of all time. Dramedy. Um, um, what was that one? Um, Dramedy is only one. That one. <laughs> no, I'm trying right, to think Mark. of the one with the racist, the old white racist guy who sat <laughs> in the family. Archer. All, all in the family. family. And Archie Bunker. Crystal. Yeah. What about you, Mark? Can, can I ask? Can you guess one? I'm going to. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna guess one, but I hate it. Go Seinfeld. <laughs> and Mark, you guys, a, you guys, I, yeah, don't I know. hate Seinfeld. You don't know. I have a question. What? What qualifies it as the greatest? They, they, oh God, what they Stanford did. On the list? No, no, no. The Television <laughs> Academy of Television uh-huh. Arts and Sciences is basically all the people that ever worked in television. It's like Carol O'Connor from All in the Family will vote. Seinfeld will vote. All these okay, people so vote. Okay, so it's not like who, how many people watched it or how long it ran. It's just the opinions the of a select few. Yeah, yeah. So coming from that logic, but it would these be- are all. You guys got very close. These are all. Iconic television sitcoms that everyone knows and loves. Awesome. They're incredible. And you I can't believe you guys missed you guys got so close but so far and away. For the record, I don't Number give 10. a crap what Christian has to say. <laughs> Either do why did he have, want to say something? Yeah. Wait, what I, have have to say? Why? I have a question. What era? Is this like of This all is all time? of all time. all time. Of all time. So basically okay, since what, the since the twenty, is it thirty, fifty? You better say it really 50s? quick, Crystal, Christian, whatever your name is. She's talking. Oh, sorry, go ahead, yeah. Since the since the fifties, twenties, no, thirty. Well, when did TV television. start, doofus? Nineteen fifty, nineteen forty-eight. Okay, so since the fifties. Oh, she yelled at me. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna start the list, and we're gonna be here until next Thursday. Yeah. Number ten. <laughs> Beans don't burn on the griddle. The Jeffersons. Fat don't. Yeah, took a whole lot of to ride. You realize? Just if- get up that hill. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? That's the Jeffersons, number now, ten. I that I was going to say that. That was what I was going to say. Because You're going to say that? What? Take? The, are we talking too loud? Was, not, not oh we. Not a collective. <laughs> All right. Awesome. He almost got it. So I'm going to give one point to Christian. <laughs> I'm going to give half a point. Okay, number nine. Draw me a fairy, Christian. <laughs> yes. Thank you. Early to rise. Stay still, David. Early to bed. <laughs> and in between, I cooked and cleaned and went. 
out of my head. Going through life with blinders on, it's tough to see. I had to get up, get out, and start enjoying, cause life's too short. My mother's There's a, a car. new girl in town, <laughs> and she's looking good. Car 54. There's a fresh, you better guess or I'm gonna keep singing. There's a fresh, freckled face in the. No- Okay, number nine is Alice. Oh, Alice. Yeah, I was gonna is say it could be Lost Alice. Alice. Is, is when that you a said spinoff freckle? of the Brady Bunch? Oh, it's yeah. sh- it's Linda Lavin. It's it's a uh, it's from you know like Alice don't live here no more. It's before our it's time. It's an Academy Award winning. Nope. Oh, okay. Nope. Okay, number eight. You guys ready? I'm blowing into an empty pen. What'd you talk <sighs> about, Mary? What? What'd you talk about, Mary? That's a catch catchphrase Webster? from the show. What'd you talk about, Mary? Sounds like sounds like Maybe. Charo. It sounds like Charo. It's two two seven. <gasps> oh shit! With Jack A. Oh my Dude, god! Dude, back when I lived in Missouri, what you talk about, Maybe? Back when I lived in Missouri, yeah, go ahead. My phone number was two two seven one four zero four, and I remember when that show was on, people would say uh-huh. people would ask me for my number, and uh-huh. I go, okay, it's it's uh, area code three one four, and then two two seven, and people would be like, Psh, you ain't on that show, come on, whatever, <laughs> and I'm like, no, seriously, that's my phone. I'm like, Psh, whatever, we know, come on, whatever. See, it's an you? iconic it's show. Like, oh, it's an iconic awesome. show. Wow. Okay, number seven, you guys ready? Mm-hmm. Yeah, born ready. Is this like? Oh, oh no, no, we're. Uh, uh, no, 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 I know this one. I know it too. Watch it, sucker. Is it Welcome Back, Carter? No, it's, uh, what's happening? Watch it, no. No. Watch it, sucker. Welcome Back, Carter, no what? (laughs) That's definitely not the 18th. You just have to tell us, I think. That's definitely not the 18th. It's Sanford and Son. I was going to say Sanford and Son. Oh, my God. (laughs) Damn it. Okay, you ready? Number six. I don't know anything about this. Number six. I'm like, no, I'll I'll sound stupid. I'm going to say Sanford and Son. It's not going to be Sanford and Son. There's no, it's just a song. I mean, I don't. What I'm saying is, go ahead. Is yeah. Happy Days on your list? No. Nope. Oh. I'm just, I'm point. just, I'm just helping you say. Eh. <laughs> what about different strokes. Number of the six world? is on the list. It doesn't have any good catchphrases or anything, but I think it's on the list because it was the first is sitcom Punky on the list ever. Eh. Uh. Number six was the first sitcom to ever have Family s- Ties. <gasps> to ever have ever start oh yeah I'm gonna have it. to ever start no eh, you got another one wrong <laughs> number six is the first sitcom ever to star a black woman in Cosby the 1960s show. no the 1960s <laughs> Julia what is Julia we were looking for Julia ladies and gentlemen what's the name Julia. of the show yeah Diane Carroll it's I never iconic, even heard of you it guys it's huge nope. oh, sorry wow. sorry not interested all right number five are you guys ready <laughs> yeah different strokes what you head up? What you head up? What? Um, head up! Show. God damn it! No, no, no! no. <laughs> <laughs> I got my homegirls singing to my left and my right, true blue, and up tight like glue. Cause we are living single living in a nineties really? kind of world. Yeah, that's number five. You don't remember Living Single? Nope. I used to watch Living Single. Living Single. Okay, Never number heard of four. It. I don't. Oh, um. Shoot, I don't know all the words. Wait. I should have gotten the lyrics. Oh, look at I got my girlfriends, and that's all I know. Is it girlfriends? girlfriends? It's girlfriends, uh, number four. Girlfriends. Really? Girlfriends? Wait. Uh-huh. Oh, and number two, num- I mean number three, number three, we're getting up into the top three. Gold you girls. guys ready? No. Nope. Damn. <laughs> Different <laughs> strokes. Number three, just looking out of the window. Joe, is that? Watching the, the asphalt, asphalt grow. Asphalt Thinking grow. how it all looks, hand me down. I know this one. Is this Full I House? Is. No. No. <laughs> uh, it's rape. No, Thinking everywhere how it you all look, looks, hand me down. Look. Sorry. Um, That's Full House, Just looking way. out of the window, watching <laughs> the asphalt grow. Thinking all the time. <laughs> okay. I don't know. They're right. Whatever. Good time. Good times. Good time. What's happening? Good time. Oh, uh-huh. okay. Wait, are, are you these, guessing wait, wait. one? Are these the, are are these the top ones? I was going to guess shows? different strokes and then what's happening. Ding, 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 ding. He got one. Which one? Different what's shows? happening? <laughs> That's number two. What's what, happening? What's what kind happening? Of, hold on. What list is this again? This is the greatest sitcoms of all time. Okay, number one. Are you guys ready? Uh-huh. Please. <laughs> Please, hurry up. I think these are all the number one top Say it black, before I throw this in. Black sitcoms. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Are you saying. guys ready? We're all yeah. these voters black. <laughs> hey, Mr. Ogilvy! <laughs> hey, Professor Ogilvy! You guys don't know what it is. I'm oh, sorry. What the hell? What is it? We're doing a thing, a new kind of swing. Come and join us, because we're the... 
All power I, duo. Dang, mama. All I can We're the Parkers. The We're Parkers. doing a thing. And you, that's number one ding, 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 ding the, of all time. You know the cartoon? That's ridiculous. Yes. What was that cartoon? That's ridiculous. And there we go. You know the cartoon. Are you guys excited? Did, right? No. no. Oh. What's yeah. it I about? personally Cosby, think. You're talking about Fat Albert. Yeah, Fat Albert. Fat that's Albert. it. Thank I you. personally think this list is awesome. I think that I they think, hit it right on the head with this list. And I think they got all the perfect sitcoms in perfect order. I think they should have one being Parkers. Yeah, fat I Albert. mean, if we're going Albert? with black what is sitcoms. The fat, I don't even know the fat Albert. No, not black sitcoms. These are the, but, you racist. You, you racist. You, 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 There's one white sitcom said that on number black, nine is black. Alice. <laughs> and the Jeffersons has tons of white folks Tons of it. white folk, you know, picking There's rice. There's two or three <laughs> black people in it. My goodness. I think they hit it right on the head. I think number one is Parker's. And I, I, th- I think the, the television. I think that Care Bears 100%. should have been on that list. Oh, they know black folks and Care Bears? They ain't even one black folk and Care Bears. Okay. Since when is this a black list? You, you racist. are racist. There is your, <laughs> I'm racist. You're racist. You just you just said that there were no black folks and Care Bears and that therefore it shouldn't be on the list. There That's you, what I'm saying. You said it's not, are, it's why not a hold racist down? list. Why are you going to hold a brother down? There aren't even white folks and Exactly. There's white. There are plenty of white people. They're all white their faces are white and their bellies yeah. are white and the rest of their bodies are brown pink pink blue, green <laughs> yeah pink, exactly purple, yellow no black, so what's that have to say no black, did you just say no yellow black, and brown no and red is that I what didn't you say said brown is that how you red, see us I said yellow shades is that how you see us we're all different shades we all shades a different chocolate My okay pony, some of us white chocolate some of pony. us dark chocolate Ooh. some of us in between oh some of us I indian want chocolate. chocolate i know i want chocolate mm. you want some chocolate come over here i'll give you a taste of chocolate bitch <laughs> wow, wow. That's border, borderline but. wow <laughs> on the parkers the other day she said that professor ogilvy's like i'm hungry for chocolate and she said i'm chocolate all over baby the other day okay <laughs> Oh, Crystal's giving me the wind it up. <laughs> David, I'm, the greatest thing. Okay, are I'm you sorry. Ready? David screamed because he knocked over an empty cup. I just thought I would let everybody I thought know. that there was something in it. And if there was something in it, it would have ruined the microphone. All the crayons would go down. <laughs> it would have ruined the entire yeah, it's funny, board. Wax isn't really that waterproof, is it? Okay, we're going on to the next yes. thing. Same old film, I'm sick of it. Here's Your cinema for the sophisticated. Oh, it's my turn! Yay! Um, I actually <laughs> hurried up. We're running short. I'm bringing. I'm bringing uh, this Long. week's. Long. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Hurry it up. Sorry, Christian. We're go ahead. Short. Here's same old film. I'm sick of it. Here's same old for Christian. the sister What's kit. It? I um my sister kit this week is I I actually went to a blockbuster and I rented a movie. I didn't. I was so cheap this week. And I hey, you know what? You find what them where you rent? find them. Well, there is an awesome writer director named Guy Ritchie. He's done two movies that I've really enjoyed. Guy Ritchie, he's amazing. <laughs> One is entitled Snatch, which is an Snatch. awesome, mm-hmm. awesome I never movie. Saw it. It's an excellent movie. Excellent movie. And there's another one called Lock, Stock, and Two Smoking and Barrels. Oh, see, there was the one with Madonna in it that he yeah, did. That so was horrible. I thought you were joking. No, no, I wasn't okay. joking. Like, uh, I haven't seen the one with Madonna, but I hear that's horrible. But anyways, sure, th- sure. those two movies are great. I suggest you highly go out and rent those. So I've heard. I haven't yeah. seen them. Though. So while uh, you're stoned, go out and rent them is what Christian <laughs> said. Exactly. But <laughs> highly. Uh, highly. <laughs> and, uh, wow, that was a Christian joke. Christian's rubbing off on you, Crystal. Are you saying I, I'm not witty? <laughs> no, I'm not. WTF, David. I'm saying I'm literally <laughs> rubbing up against you. Oh, oh. Uh, no, he's getting off on me. Oh. Oh, oh my God. Totally Crystal's different. Crystal's out of control tonight. <laughs> mm-hmm. Ready, go. So, uh, so anyways, I, I was, I, I saw this movie called Ransom. Or no, Ransom. What am I talking Ransom? about? Revolver. Revolver uh, is the name yeah, of the movie. Though. And I saw it. It was, it was made by him and it is starring Jason Statham, who's in two of his other He's movies. Awesome. Transporter. Great actor. Wait, Guy Ritchie did Transporter? No, no, no. But, oh. but Jason, Jason Statham, Statham was in, was in Trans- the other two. Oh, yeah, he was he in Trans- He's in two of his other movies. So yeah. I said, oh. oh, I'm sorry. Oh, yeah, right. you're right. Well, I was counting Revolver, which was oh, the movie okay. that I had rented. Le- and uh, um, the, the movie's v- very bizarre. It's like a, a trip, like when you started out. It's almost like watching... Um, What's that thing with Vegas, Johnny Depp, the LSD? Fear and Loathing, Fear and and Fear and loathing in Las Vegas. Vegas. Oh, it's kind of like that. Yeah, it's just like, kind of weird. And then it trips out. Like, sometimes some of it's animated, and some of it, and it does a bunch of different color schemes and everything like that. But it's a really interesting mystery. It, it, it starts, like, building on you. It's a little slow, but then it gets up into this mystery, and it becomes sort of an action movie. Kind of kind of clever, a little funny. It has Ray Liotta in it, too. Does it do Kung Fu and stuff, Jason Statham? Like not really. Oh, not not Ray really. Ray Liotta. <laughs> Ray Liotta. I can't even picture Ray Liotta right I now. I can't picture Ray Liotta moving his leg above his waist, yeah. honestly. But Yoda. I can't picture he, him. At he all looks right he's the crypt keeper. He looks very old. Allegedly. Can't sue us. But uh, he, he looks really old. <laughs> anyway, so they, they build up this entire mystery and it starts getting more clever and interesting. Oh, Andre three thousands in it too from Outcast. Andre How long was this movie made? 
two years ago. Wow. Yeah. No, he's a big time actor now. He actor okay. He actor okay. Who's a racist? So, but anyway, so so they build up this really interesting mystery, and it gets, and it gets, <laughs> it gets good. It gets, it starts to get good, and you get really interested. What's it, in it. about? Basically, in three sentences, go. Um, a guy gets out of prison, um, and he, he's going to take down a uh, um, a boss, a guy who owns this hotel and casino, and he wants to go take him down, like um, overtake his business. Oh, okay. And uh, he's trying to find out a way to do it, and he's trying to set them up. But then he gets diagnosed with a disease that's going to kill him in three days. So he's got three days to do it? Yeah. Why does he go in and shoot him then? Yeah, sounds good. But, you know, well, he's in <laughs> Vegas. Come on, you can't exactly carry guns into casinos. Anyways, anyways, but it's... Uh, so so they build up a really interesting story for you. And then um, at the end, they fuck it all up and it sucks. It was like one of the worst endings of a movie I've ever seen. It was like one of those... It Have was, you seen my dog skip? No, I haven't. That's Where the worst he? ending for a movie I've ever seen. I thought she had a dog named Skip. That's the name it's of the movie. movie? Okay. Yeah, my dog Skip. My bad. Yeah, we should do a bit on here because there was a movie I saw the other day that was built up as one of the greatest movies of all time. I saw it. It's the stupidest movie I've ever seen in my life. Is that the title too? I don't... No, I can't remember what it was. Now I just I was just about to uh, keep going. My dog Ignore Skip. <laughs> I watched that movie mm-hmm. and then at the end. I was bawling my eyes out. I'm like, why? They could have stopped the movie like five, ten minutes before the end. Oh, it would perfect. have been, it would have been a nice wrapped up ending. Mm-hmm. But instead, no, they had to go for like the the mean, evil, making you cry Aww. thing. And and for like a week, I would just randomly break out into tears Aww. and go, Peter, why did they have to do that? <laughs> it was just evil. So, it's just mean. That's horrible. Wait, so you'd recommend Revolver up no, until the end? I'd, yeah, I would recommend the first uh, 119 minutes. Of- and you. Do you recommend dog skip except for no. the last ten minutes? Yeah. Of it? Okay. Yes, I would. I yeah. would do that. But I would rather. I would recommend you go um, rent something else. <laughs> I wasn't that crazy about Godfather. Never seen it. I think it. it was a good movie, but it just didn't do much for me because the subject matter was not that interesting. <laughs> really? Mm. That was quite polite of you. And it was very... What's the word? What's the word? Was it too normal for you? Like, no, it's very like... Vanilla? Depressement. It's like, who cares about these people? Like, they're Ooh, stupid, horrible people. Cracker face? No, it's kind of like Brokeback Mountain. It's like I thought that... like I was like, these people are horrible people. I don't care if they live or if they die. They're horrible people and they're cheating on their wives. They're cheating on each other. They, they're they, raping horses. First heads. they were with each other before they were married. No, no, no. He was engaged. Heath Ledger was engaged. La, 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 la. I've never seen both of these movies. You don't want to see... You haven't seen Brokeback Mountain? Mountain? No, it, it was a good movie. I liked it. No, it was a beautifully shot movie. It was a great actor. The Heath Ledger's a great actor. Was. Mm. Was a great actor. I think I had a dream last night that he was still alive. <laughs> He was a great was actor. Sad. Great actor. Great actor. And I'm, and apparently, I'm, he wasn't that great of a person, but he was a great actor. What? Are you kidding? Well, Rachel, what's her name? What's the who did he marry? Oh, no. Someone else. No, that he chick? didn't marry anybody. They were engaged. Or no, they had a up. baby together. Yeah, she said he's great. No, Everybody I read this thing great. saying that he was a nice person and everything, but he wasn't a good... He wasn't a good father he wasn't a good whatever because he knew no limits he didn't know how to help people and all of that whatever and he whatever. couldn't stop doing drugs and blah, 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 blah. That, uh, no, no no it was an interview and it was in her own words hmm. I'll, have to, I'll, have to, I'll have to look into that but either way but he was a great actor i mean i don't know who knows she could be saying whatever but i'd be pissed off too like come on wouldn't you be pissed off if you had a baby with somebody and then he goes and dies from drug overdose i'd be pissed I'd be like, well it was accidental bitch. it wasn't it wasn't drug overdose this in that respect. It was no, but it wasn't like he was on five different drugs or something yeah, like that. Yeah, but it was real. That's, that's the thing is that in this day and age, people think you can take a fucking pill and cure whatever you want yeah. and that it's not going to hurt you. And that's the thing that I really hope that people take out of this, that yeah. people actually look at his death and go, he thought he was doing okay. He didn't think that he was yeah. taking, I mean, he was taking drugs that doctors gave him. He wasn't taking street drugs. He wasn't, you know, pounding back 12 bottles. I mean, who knows? I don't know the specifics, but he might have overdone his dosages. I don't know. But let's say he didn't. I could see no matter what you're taking, you're taking five different things, even just taking the the valid prescription for five Mm -hmm. different things could kill you. But people don't get that. They think that especially people who have lots of money and people who have doctors who, you know, they can Botox and all these things that seem like quick, easy fixes. They think that 
everything in life has a quick fix and you can just pop a couple pills and everything's fine. But no, it can kill you. You yeah. can be dead. You can take exactly what all your doctors tell you. you, you when you get Botox, you're injecting botulism into your face. Ugh. I mean, it's disgusting. I don't even know what but botulism it's... is, but it sounds like blotch, and that's a gross word. <laughs> <laughs> but that's the thing is, we never learned that drug lesson because it happened to Marilyn Monroe. It happened to Elvis. You know, every decade yeah. it happens to somebody, and we She's don't learn that lesson freak. ever. Well, but Marilyn Monroe, Monroe was, was murdered. Why are you saying it like that? What? Yeah, she was murdered for sure, but she was on 13 different pills that made her insane. Right. Same with Judy Garland, same with well, Elvis. Well, Judy Garland was made to take him when same she was a kid. Anna Nicole. I know, but she was still hooked out on drugs when she was in her 40s. Yeah. So. Well, we also didn't but, land but on the But the thing moon. is, well, sure, when you're that young and people just feed you pills and you take them, yeah. of course you're going to get hooked on No, but I'm talking about like in the 30s, she did it. In the 50s, it was Marilyn Monroe. In the 70s, it was Elvis. Right. And, you know, and then in the, a little while ago, it was Anna Nicole. Like, we're just not learning that lesson. But, like, you know, a lot of those people were, were also having problems. Like, like yeah. Elvis was having a problem with pills. But yeah. now, but nowadays, some guy like Heath Ledger being on five different prescriptions, people yeah. don't go, "Oh, he was having a problem with pills." And I don't think that. I mean, maybe he was, but but it, it doesn't see it doesn't seem that way to me. It seems yeah. like he was told, "Here, oh, you're having a problem with with X. Take this pill. If you're having a problem with Y, take that pill." Yeah. And they were just that he just thought, "Oh, it's like um, you know, take vitamin A if you need better yeah. eyesight." No, but that's and my point is that's how, your blood is feeling that's a little how weak. all those people. That's how Elvis got on it. Like that mm-hmm. when Elvis's people say that people, you know, doctors started prescribing him all these drugs. He was on painkillers. That's how they all do it, and it's just it's so funny because. They should report more on Heath Ledger doing that because maybe it would finally sink in. Like right, and the thing is, the thing is, I don't blame the person who gets the prescription. They, I mean, they think that that that's the thing to do. A lot yeah. of people, a lot of people, and I know that I was probably raised by a big hippie, but a lot of people think that oh, your doctor, you listen to your doctor, and his yeah. word is is gold. Some people, yeah. you know, they walk into a doctor's office, their doctor says, oh, you're having a problem with your with your liver. Here, take this, mm-hmm. and they'll take yeah. it, and they don't ask what it is or even what the problem with their liver is. Yeah, exactly. You know, I want to know everything. I don't trust them. I'm mm-hmm. like, oh, you're giving me this. Uh, okay, thanks, and I'll throw it in the garbage <laughs> and go take. Take some, have some tea, you know, or whatever. Yeah. But, um, but a lot of people don't. They just trust blindly, and yeah. then they end up getting five prescriptions and dying in their bed when they're yeah. What's he like, twenty eight or something? It's true, it's and disgusting. it's like most of the stuff you see on TV. Oh God! You, you like, you can see like, oh, you can handle that nutritionally. Like it's so easy, and people don't do that ever. Mm-hmm. But I say. But it's like the Darwinism. And the, yeah. If they're not, if they're not gonna care, let them die. Well, it'll sort them the, out. The, the Darwinism. Thing, yeah, but I really think that, like you said, it should be more publicized and stuff because the thing is, is that people are going, oh well, he was into drugs, so that's what did it. Yeah. But I really don't think, like, even if he smoked pot or whatever, I don't think that that made a difference in terms of him taking these well, prescriptions. This is drugs. what I think. I think in this day and age, he has a huge responsibility for it because he could easily find out. He could have, e- like, back in the 50s, it wasn't as easy to find out what drugs were doing to you about nutrition and stuff like that. But Nowadays, had- like, Heath Ledger could have easily found out, like, what am I taking? Why am I taking it? Is there an alternative? Like, but if your doctor easily. tells you it's okay, a lot of people, yeah, no, I, I think mean, you would be surprised at how many people think that if their doctor says it's good, it's good. Yeah. You know, um, and a lot of people, a lot of times they're wrong or they're in a hurry or they make a mistake. And, you know, they they're people they're too. They're just pushing drugs on you. Right. Or they're just pushing drugs on you. But the yeah. thing is, 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 you know, a lot of, a lot of the media is pushing how, oh, Heath Ledger had this secret drug life. And you know what? So, I mean, kind of, so what if he did? I mean, it's not that I think it's, it's, uh, it's something that you should condone, but if that's not what killed him, then why are we going on about it? They're trying to make it well, seem like the prescription yeah. things were were okay were were only because he was doing drugs. But that's the you know lobbying I mean? of the drug companies because right. they have a huge lobby in this country, and you never get like Anna Nicole Smith. Supposedly she was died just from prescription drugs. It's true, and that wasn't reported very much either. No, mm. she was a, oh well, she was a pill popper, and it was all her problem and her fault. Totally. And, had nothing to do with the fact that she was given all those as prescriptions. It's fine. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, it's true. I didn't know that. You're right. And supposedly Elvis, all the drugs in his system were supposedly prescription drugs too. And it's like... I like the commercial. I think the commercials what? are funny. It's like, you know... Does your do you have stinky breath in the morning? Ask your doctor about xylotryptophan. Yes, I know that's something we don't get that's in Canada. Insane. Is a commercial 
hasn't oh, I thought you said stinky breath. No, I but like, wow, I think it's that's, illegal to advertise in Canada. No, I don't know. But the thing is, is that if you have a, it's it's all funded by the government, so you don't have the drug companies pushing you. I don't think. Maybe now you do, but when I was a kid, the only times I saw commercials like that uh. were from from U.S. stations. I think it's insane that drug companies are allowed to advertise on television. I think that is insane. You know, you get a 12 year old kid and they say, Oh, do you have pro- tr- trouble with anxiety? You know, trouble talking in front of people? Well, of course, they're 12. They're going through puberty. But they don't they even list, want people to look at them. They list and things then go that you go talk through to the daily. Doctor. They list things that you go through driving to work. Like they list out the things that everybody has. Like, of course, but, you gotta have those things. But like, even though I just said that I don't fully trust in doctors, mm. I do think that from my point of view and from a lot of people's point of view, you, it should be. It's the doctor's job to assess what's wrong with you. You say, yeah. doctor, you know, my arm hurts when I bend it this way, and they should be able to tell you what's wrong with you. That's their job. Not for you to say, hey, I saw this commercial. You should give me some of that. Totally. That's effed up. In this yeah. day and age, though, in this day and age, up. I do think it's totally, it's a lot of the responsibility of doctors and the drug companies, but a lot of it rests on the American public because they do have a way to find out and they just don't care right. most of them yeah but i think that com- that that drug companies shouldn't be able to advertise on television or magazines i mean i think that that's actually another thing off kind of off that point mm-hmm. if i may mm-hmm. that i don't that bothers me mm-hmm. and i'm not getting it i, I don't want to get into censorship so i don't <laughs> bother me that people think it's okay to just go around and put up the most disturbing images on billboards in the world, and I'm supposed to just drive around and look at these things. Like, like there's what? this one for like um, hepatitis B, mm-hmm. and it shows this guy, and he's got like these bruises and like mangled mm-hmm. face, and it says, "Oh, if if the the damage that was happening to your liver could be seen on your face, you'd go see a doctor or something like that." Wow. And it's like disturbing. I see it, and it's 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 icky. I, I see commercials. That. I see commercials for horror movies all the time, and there's like this guy with a mangled face and blood, and I'm like. I don't want to see that. I don't want my kids to see that, but they kind of have to. I don't know. Well, see, I, I do it from the because I don't have kids, so I, I always. I mean, I, I hate horror movies anyway. They make I me hate queasy. Ho- they make me queasy. Oh, uh, they give me nightmares. Oh, um, well, I, I, you know, I just pop a Xanax and then. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, no. Oh, he Christian, waggy, that white boy wing. He's ridiculous. But yeah, I mean, but the thing is, like, where do you draw the line at that point? Because right. I. I like driving down the street and seeing, say, a girl in a bikini on a on a billboard or something like that. You know what I mean? I don't mind that. I actually enjoy that. I'm like, look, tits. You know what I mean? It's kind of cool. So, but in this day, when and I'm age, king, we will not pass that law. Yeah, but in this I, day I don't want to get like, into censorship. Go see free tits on the internet. It's true. So you really need to see it on a billboard. It you helped. could go it's to the kinda, beach I'm, and I see girls in bikinis. True. I might have forgotten that, that that day, though. Like, you know, I might have been wrapped up in stuff, and I'll be like... <laughs> I might have been busy on... Where you can also get magazines where you can have the girls without the bikini. Oh, that's wrong. That's just wrong. That they that turns women into objects. I'm not... I want to know who's that. buying porn off the internet oh. nowadays, because there's so much free porn everywhere. Why do you need to buy it? Yeah. I don't know. Nobody knows? Okay. Nobody knows. No. No. We're all saints here, so... Really? Well, we just don't know who internet? buys it. Is what he's saying. Christian's nodding. Yes, I have bought porn. Is it? Is there anything? Speci- is there a specific? Is it better quality? You can tell us about, or is yeah, it just it's, like um, bodybuilding women? It's like American Gladiator style. Women. Oh, I sent you those. I sent you pictures of big bodybuilder women. Did that turn you, you run on? that site? That's awesome. No, the you get no, a it discount was a, now. <laughs> I went to a show. I went to an art show of big bodybuilding women, and each it was huge pictures of them. They're kind of disturbing a little. And uh, I sent it to you, and you loved it. And it was each one is selling for like forty thousand dollars. These huge pictures of big bodybuilding women, and the photographs are interesting. But I wouldn't want it in my house. Very they, look like, they look like men with makeup on, basically. It's true. Very satisfied com- customer. Thank you. So you, you loved it when I sent it to A you? A plus plus. We'll buy that. again. Yeah. Well, awesome. Great. You, got my you guys, we need to find a huge bodybuilding girl to set Christian up with because I want to see her just push him down and go, little man, you are mine. I just want to see that really bad. Well, you could do that. Yeah, I was going to say. No, Dieter, I don't want to do it. I want to see a woman do it to uh-huh. him. I well, you could funny. do Okay. All right, good. Because he wouldn't like it if a woman did it. If I did it, So we just need to find a woman that's like 95 pounds or more, right? I know. Well, he's clinically obese, so. Yeah. Seriously. Yeah. All right, any cool. drama? We're going to end off on drama, oh, drama, yeah. drama. Oh, yeah. Christian yeah. had drama. That's some really good. No, Ready, I, go. I don't have any Yeah, drama. Christian does have drama. Christian, Christian and his friend had a three way Santa Barbara. You were all talking about what? drama. <laughs> we're talking about drama. Santa Barbara? That's what you said. That's Santa just Barbara. guy stuff, dude. 
Oh, three guys. Okay. Whatever. It's only gay if you guys like it. You enjoy it. <laughs> or if you make eye contact, which... I think it's only gay if you're giving him the blowjob. Or if you kiss. Yeah, it's... That's my understanding. So what drama you got, Crystal? I, I don't have drama. I know you don't have drama. I'm David's drama. Do you have any drama, Mark? <laughs> nope. That's no. That's no. Drama. That's no. I got drama. I got drama. I don't got drama. This, it's like MTV Sucker Free Sundays. This is drama free... Wednesdays. Yeah. No, we got to start having drama on the podcast because people really enjoy well, a good you drama. You need to go create drama. Seriously. I'm going to slap somebody. And not with somebody. me or anyone I know. <laughs> Dude, just not- go do that accent in Watts. Do you your do your act. Walk around Watts. <laughs> then the drama and just keep, will be. Just point at David people. Got you know what? Shot in the if face. you watch like Sally Jesse Raphael or you watch Jerry Springer, white people are up there going like, "You don't know me. You don't." And there's black people right next to them. Like I always want them to be like, "Why are you talking like that?" But they don't. They just are like, "Oh, big deal." There's a white person talking like us. Like, I think that's even better deal. if the black guys. You like, don't know me. If you don't know me, wait. I don't have drama, but I do want to recommend wow. to everyone to watch Hell Date on BET. <laughs> what were you gonna say, Christian? I forgot. <laughs> okay. You segued out of it. So. Watch Hell Day. I'm sorry. Powerpuff Girls. Oh, I'll segue back into it. You don't know me. You don't know me. Go. That's ridiculous. Do you watch Jerry Springer? <laughs> <laughs> wow. We have, this ship has officially run aground. Yeah, I, I think, think so. We, we need to abandon. Do you think this will go down in history as the worst podcast we've ever done? It might just. It, <laughs> it might, might just. <laughs> Please vote. Go to Well, there was uh, that one that I wasn't on, so... My, well, that was a pretty good one. <laughs> I know. Go to oh. MySpace slash Dinner Date Podcast and let us know if this is the worst one you've ever heard. MySpace.com. Don't forget to vote. You can leave it in the comments section or the uh, the new Flash update that will be there. There's a whole Flash page that's going to go up. There is? Nope. On the, really? Mm-hmm. You just get their hopes up so they go there. <laughs> okay, Flash <laughs> and Naked Titty Women. Yeah. That's uh-huh. what I'm Jiggle, 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 jiggle. <laughs>